I'm going to be covering the Seneca Falls Convention in my presentation. The Seneca Falls Convention was the first ever women's rights convention in the United States. It was in Seneca Falls, New York in 1848 in July and it led to the start of the women's suffrage movement. So a lot of the leaders were amazing. They were all women who'd organized this convention and they were Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Lucretta Mott, Mary McLinick, Martha Coffin Wright, and Jane Hunt. They made the Declaration of Sentiments, which was a list of grievances and demands by these women who wanted a change in their lives. They wanted to be more like men and seen to be like their own individuals and they didn't want to be controlled by men any longer. They, the Declaration of Sentiments was mainly written by Elizabeth Cady Stanton and all of these women were brilliant. They did lots of different things like they stood for women's rights, they stood for anti-slavery, a lot of them were abolitionists, they were Quakers, religious activists, and they did lots of other things. Like, they stood for temperance movement. They, um, the Declaration of Sentiments was a list that a lot of men could agree with up until it came where women asked to have the right to vote alongside men. Where a lot of the men that did support the convention dropped out and didn't want their name associated with it anymore. Many, uh, like, an important line from this the Declaration of Sentiments written by Elizabeth Cady Stanton was, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men and women are created equal. This was a spinoff of the Declaration of Independence and a lot of the reactions to this were both good and bad. One of the reactions was from Horace Greeley and he said, if Americans did truly believe in the Constitution, then women must hold the same equal rights to men. Even though Horace Greeley himself did agree that he was skeptical of women at the time having the right to vote alongside men. And a lot of the other reactions were the same way from men. There, it didn't change until a long time after this. But this convention was a big step for women and it did push a lot of things like the women's suffrage movement in the long run and it did even today change a lot of things that we wouldn't even think of 